this is the bracket reveal segment. This is where we talk about how our brackets are doing since, bracket guy. since the beginning of March Madness and going forward. We're going to break down our brackets stage by stage. You got a bracket, right? You brought it? You didn't yes, forget it? I brought my brackets. Okay, cool. So. I got like 10 of them. We're going to rename this this segment Bracketology. You know, I got a question. Yeah. So, you know how like sports is, is considered like pretty non nerdy, right? Yeah. No, so, absolutely. and and a lot of them would consider like we talk about like comic books and shit like that. And, like, how is that shit nerdy? But someone acting like their fucking bracket for college basketball, the NCAA tournament, is a science, and calling it bracketology and putting it all over television. How do they do that with a straight face without realizing that it's super fucking nerdy and lame? I, I not that know. not that being nerdy is lame, because like no. I said, we talk about nerdy yeah, shit all the time. I mean, yeah. But bracketology, like, really, you fill out a bracket, and like, are we gonna start calling like the NFL draft like draftatology? <laughs> Picketology? Right, or, or drafts 2.0 or, or lineups or, or draft picks? Yeah, I so I I have yet to dabble in the idea of bracketology. Yeah. I've never filled out a bracket. Yeah, I, I know you're disappointed, but big time. Instead, we're probably gonna talk about stupid shit like the Cleveland Browns. Yes. Oh, but before we get to that, I mean, I still gotta fucking crack open. Oh yes. Yeah. So Super Bowl bet. Twist off. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, Super Bowl bet. Now, Steve, we let him get away with the with the, the, two, two the beer one. review segment. Two and one. I decided that I didn't want to do a solo beer review. I allowed him one segment of reprieve. Now, for the remaining segments, he has to drink nothing but shit beer. And you know what? Shit beer is is butt wiper. Butt wiper. So, and you know what's funny about this is we could have done a rotation of shit beers. Yeah, we could have. Like you every segment, you do a new different, one. Different. It's a lot of money though to spend maybe on that's another, beer. Maybe that's another bet for another time. Maybe. Maybe. I'm two and one. That's fine. I lost one, you know. I got I got I got one loss under my belt, so uh, there might be a bet in this segment. Now you're gonna have a lot of shitty beers under your bet belt too. Yeah, I know. All all throughout the entire episode I gotta drink butt wiper, so I mean We could have done one segment butt light, one segment butt wiper, one yeah. segment. Shock top, blue moon, some crap. Like that. I don't. Know. It's going. It's going down Boy. real easy because it doesn't really taste like anything. It tastes pretty lame and like. It's it tastes pretty garbage too, yeah, especially as it starts to get warm. You'll see. Yeah. You'll see. It's already like. Meh. <laughs> meh. I'm, I'm, I guess I won't be drunk tonight. <laughs> Once we get the video seg video game segment, that I'll remains be to be seen. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it, there's a first time for everything. Okay, you won the bet. I got to drink shitty beer throughout the rest of the entire episode. But I want to start talking about the NFL in this whole fucking NFL. crazy. No fun league in this crazy fucking off season that we've just had. It's, it's still going on. We still got fucking, fucking Tom Brady's getting traded to the Miami Dolphins. Don't possibly. we always just talk about the NFL? Know. Don't we always talk about NFL, NFL is king, pretty much. It's like Tom a, Brady's not going to the Miami fucking Tampa Dolphins. Tampa Bay trading in the Dolphins. Stop. You heard it. You heard it. You, you've heard it here first. Stop it. It's not <laughs> happening. So you didn't hear shit here. Um, I don't want to be associated with some bullshit. <laughs> All right. Well, there's been a lot of crazy trades. The the craziest trade is obviously Deshaun Watson going to the. Uh, is that the craziest? Yeah. Tyree Kill. Okay, going we'll get, away we'll from the we'll Chiefs. We'll get, we'll get is that the craziest? I want to get to Deshaun Watson real quick. The, uh, okay, what about Devontae Adams leaving the, the Packers? That's not the craziest? Uh, what the fuck is going on? To the Raiders. Oh, That's pretty crazy, man. No, you crazy. Crazy. Deshaun, we well, knew Deshaun was going. We knew Deshaun wasn't going to be in the Texans. No, but to the Browns? To the Browns. If there's, really? if there's one team stupid enough to give him the richest contract mm. ever, even though he ain't going to play this year, 
Uh, maybe after and give up eight, all their fucking eight. draft picks. But he's only he's only playing. Giving he's up got like a million dollar contract. Giving up all year. their fucking draft. You know why? Because he knows he's not gonna play this year. And giving up all their fucking draft picks. Yeah. The Browns might be the I, team that's stupid enough to do that. We'll see. We'll see when time comes. But I mean, they definitely upgraded from Baker Mayfield. I think hold Deshaun on. Watson. Okay, is hold on. Hold great, on. great. Great. So so. Yes, Deshaun, Deshaun Watson is an upgrade over Baker, but can we talk about how quickly mm-hmm. you all have soured on Baker Mayfield? Oh, I know. I don't know why people soured on him. I don't know why. He had a great rookie season. His second season was not that great. Sophomore slump. It happens. It's with the best quarterbacks there is. His third season was fantastic. He played Dude, he played his ass off, and then this year he, his fourth season was you know he, he won was a, barred from injury. He won a he won a playoff game yes. for a franchise that and does not win exactly. playoff games ever. Ever, so they're I, like one step above the Detroit fucking Lions, mm-hmm. and he beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. And mostly the defense beat the Pittsburgh uh, he Steelers. He played well in that he game. He played well. He played well. He did. No, he no, did. no, no. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like he runs the team like, mm. I don't know. You could, the easiest argument is always Patrick Mahomes. But let's, mm-hmm. So let's pick somebody other than that. Yeah. Let's say he, he doesn't light it up the way that Justin Herbert did, no. right? Or the way that Joe Burrow did in his same division. No, he doesn't. However, he still plays well, and, and he still... Helped, he was an integral part of changing the culture of that he did, team. Definitely, and did. so he has one bad season where his shoulder is shot, and we're shot. like, yeah, like, I, I still think. He let's could be get a the guy who has twenty-two pending civil trial cases instead, mm. and give up a shitload of draft picks to get him, yeah, and give him the and and and, yeah, and take the biggest calorie hit it. ever. Uh, calorie, yeah. calories. I'm still thinking about the Cal- stuff. stuff. Uh, Salary, salary cap salary hit cap. ever, not this year because he knows he's not going to play this year. No, yeah, but yeah. next year, you're going to get fucked. You're not going to be able to build around him very well, at least. You can still put in some pieces here and there. Yeah. Teams do it. You, Team, you, teams you do, do some it, yeah. Yeah. some capology. Yeah. <laughs> they put the ology in the front <laughs> yeah, and back of everything. It's a science, right? Yes. It's a science. Yeah. It's the study of. Yes. Um, but, I, yes, Deshaun Washington is definitely been a better player mm-hmm. over his career. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt. Deshaun Watson, watch what the Deshaun Watson since <laughs> since he came into the league uh, is borderline top five quarterback. Baker Mayfield is not. He's not. However, it just seems rather flippant to say you guys picked him number one overall. Yeah. It's not not a first round pick. No. Number one overall in a shocking surprise pick. You loved him. You wouldn't pick him number one if you. Oh, didn't I love him. Baker Mayfield. So no, 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 no. I'm talking about the team. I'm not even talking about the fans. Okay. Talking about the team. They loved him. Otherwise, they wouldn't have picked him number one overall when everybody else thought they were going to go in another direction. Yeah. And you give up on him so quick. Yeah, that, that was shocking just because to, to get a guy who's got 22 civil cases still pending. So we, you know, before Deshaun Watson comes in, right? We we were geared for his his fifth season, Baker Mayfield. Right, they, they picked up his option. He's like 19 million uh, for this year. Right, this this would be the year that he would have to prove himself to be the franchise. The make or break. The make or break. break. Yeah. Make or break it. Right, because last year it's kind of like a throwaway season. Right, he was injured. He played decently to be injured. Right, he kept the he kept them in games sometimes, and he also cost the Browns games. But I mean, he, he also won injured. games for them. He uh, was injured. So like, so it was it was definitely hit and miss with him. This year, I, I wouldn't have counted him out. I was ready for another season with Baker. Um, it, it's just, it was shocking. I want to see some more progressive commercials. Nothing yeah, else. Yeah, exactly. Nothing else more than that. At home with Baker yeah, Mayfield. Yeah. That great <laughs> Cleveland Stadium. Yeah, it's great. Um, it's great. So, I was shocked when the Browns. That might be, hold on. That might be the worst part of this deal. Uh. Is no more at home with Baker Mayfield. Come on, I, mean, not, I not, love that shit. That's good. As a, as a non Browns fan, I'm well, like, no, there'll be more. Just just depending on no, he can be what starter. Fucking ham sandwich they give him. Fucking he, where, where he's going? He can be a starter. No, he's no? he's done. No, those, those ads are done, bro. Those ads are done. He can be a starter where he goes. 
Not this year. Not this year. Maybe he'll work his way into a starting I role next year. I think he will sit somewhere this year. He's going to get traded somewhere this year. Well, of he course. Will. He has to. Um, for fucking just fucking a grilled cheese sandwich or something. I don't know. But well, no, they, they were asking for a first-round pick, they not were. a ham it's sandwich. It's not anymore. Cause, okay, cause but they, teams know. The, teams know they need to get him. They need to get rid of him. They right? may still be asking so for like, a second or third-round pick, though. But these no, no team, no team is going to fucking want him right now. They're, they're, the not teams, for first-round pick. The teams maybe are maybe less. Like, yeah, like maybe like a fifth rounder, maybe fourth rounder. You might get more than that. I don't might. know. I don't know because teams are like, you obviously need this guy gone. We don't want him, right? Seattle doesn't want him. Carolina doesn't want him. No, well, they um, don't want they don't want him for a first round pick. No, but they might want him for less. I don't maybe maybe. I don't know about a fifth, but I, I mean, I would put him in Seattle and try and uh, battle Drew Locke for that starting position. But I don't know. Russell Wilson went to the fucking Broncos. He did. Oh my god! What the fuck is going on in this <laughs> NFL season? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I like, how you, I like how you reminded yourself of that by yes. talking about Drew Locke at the at the at the Seattle. Seahawks. You're like, he can go up there and battle Drew Locke up in Seattle. What? You know, Seattle. They used to have this Russell Wilson. What the fuck is going on here? What you know? <laughs> that, what was this... a, that was like stream of consciousness right there on video. <laughs> stream of consciousness. Yeah. Like he reminded himself of the Russell Wilson trade by talking about Drew Locke okay. in Seattle. So you know what this whole offseason, uh, the NFL, all the moves that have gone on and the trades and the free agency, it definitely wants me to pick up the new Madden game, mm. right? Because there's so much moving parts. There's so many new players and different teams. Like, I want to try this out and see how that goes, you know? Different quarterbacks and different spots. I'll tell you what, thanks. Side note, mm -hmm. jumping up into the video game segment a little here. A little bit. Little Side bit. note. One of the best things that sports games ever did yeah. is live roster changes. Live, exactly. Oh, I love that. That's that's they because don't do that anymore, there was though. nothing worse than playing like NBA 2K mm -hmm. and playing with a bunch of players that aren't even on the fucking team anymore. It's like <laughs> these guys are what gone, is going man. On here? It's like uh, LeBron's in Cleveland. No, he ain't. Not no more. <laughs> yeah, that's dead and gone. He had to buy the new one. Um, man. And Tyree Kill going to the Dolphins, traded to the Dolphins. That's a shocker to me. That is that's, shocking. That's a bigger shocker than because Deshaun to, to Cleveland. That is Patrick Mahomes' bread and butter right there, man. Uh, Kelsey, maybe. I mean, but yeah, but but they Kelsey and Hill work off each other sure, so yeah. well. Sure. And like they didn't want to pay him the big salary. Like it makes sense. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. It makes Patrick. it makes perfect sense on paper. Yeah. It was, but it was still shocking. That's the thing about it. It's like you just, even though you're like, ah, they can't pay everybody, right? Yeah. They just can't. You can't but you're still like, ah, they're gonna find a way to keep Tyreek, right? Mm -hmm. No, but no, they just let him go because they're like, sorry, we can't pay you. Oh, we can't do what it. Is that so, so they got draft picks out of it. They're they they got something out of it, right? Mm -hmm. So they didn't just let him walk. They oh, got yeah, something in return, right. which, which is, is good. It's what good you, for them. It's what you need to yes. do in the NFL. Yes, it's yes. absolutely what you have to do. You mm -hmm. can't let someone walk. You have to get value. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that's what the NFL is all about. Yeah. Getting value for a player that leaves. That's so important it because is. a it player is. leaving can destroy can a franchise. A big-time yeah. player can destroy a franchise because you get no value in return. Yeah, you, you when you get value... Nothing when left. you get value in return, it's huge. Mm -hmm. Unless they squander the draft yeah. picks, which teams do all the time. Browns, perfect example, mm -hmm. doing that Does historically. Oh, yeah. um, if you if you make shitty ass draft picks, then it doesn't matter anyway. Mm -hmm. But if you draft well, then you get huge value for that player. So that's a big deal. So another big freaking trade, Matt Ryan to the Colts. What in, what is all with this quarterback movement? This this so. It's an upgrade awesome. over Carson Wentz. Oh, big time. So, in our preseason. Hey, hey, Wentz went to fucking in a, uh, Commanders, who, Washington Commanders. Who cares where Wentz goes? In, a, in our in our pre-Super Bowl episode, not the one right before the Super Bowl, the yeah. one before that, yeah. the playoff episode, we were trying to give, or the run-up to the playoffs, we were yeah. trying to give Wentz some credit yes. that he was going to take the Colts because the Colts were on fire at that point. Mm-hmm. And then they lost like four yeah. of their next five what's, and just went into the tank. Whatever. Is that running back Ta Taylor? Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor. He's a beast. Yeah. Beast. So you upgrade by getting Matt Ryan. Yes. 
you're looking at probably two okay. years. I'm thinking two years with him. Two years with him. He's like 36, 37. He's around there. Yeah. So I'm even 38. I'm thinking a solid two years yeah. of a run. So the Colts are going to look to make a run at the Super Bowl for the next two years, yeah. maybe three, and then Matt Ryan. And then, and then yeah, and then you got to go rebuild again. You got to or get another. But that's fine because you have. Rogers but you years. have a team <laughs> to win right. now. Yeah, you do. You, you, do. you have a team to win now, so you bring a veteran quarterback in there who's a former league MVP. And could it be like like Peyton Manning on the Broncos? Well, he, except he, Matt he, Ryan's he, definitely not Peyton Manning, but he's know. he's really good. He's good. He's, good he's a four, he did win the MVP of the league one year. He's no chump. He's, he's not chump. Carson Wentz. That's what's got him the game. What's going to be the best division this year? The AFC West or the AFC North? West. West. Definitely. Definitely. North. I mean, uh, well, yeah, because Watson's probably not going to play for the first six to eight games. I'm pretty sure he's going to get suspended by the NFL. I mean, you got Trubisky going to the, the um, Steelers. Steelers. You got the Super Bowl uh, um, Bengals. contenders, Bengals in Bengals. there. The AFC well, champs. You say the AFC champs. champs. I was looking for that word. Yeah. Um, you know, Ravens. And are then still Ravens. There. Ravens will be good. Really good with with a healthy Lamar. Ravens are going to be mean, good. I mean, so that division. I mean, I guess the AFC West AFC is going to be fucking Come just on. ridiculous. With, I mean, who who's the bottom team on that division? Who's going to lose the division at the bottom? This is an interesting question. So, um, the Chargers are still the Nappers until they prove otherwise. They're still the Nappers. Yeah. Come on. Can we ignore how they fell apart last year? I mean, yes, they did. But, and that's the Chargers. They, they did do that. They, they, they did get Cleo Mack. Cleo Mack. They right? did get Cleo Mack. They got other yeah. defensive players yes, as well. Yes. They got, I'm blanking on their name, but they, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I'm blanking on their name. But they got they got other defensive players as well. They got a linebacker and a, a yeah. DB. No, they, 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 but show me. Show me. They're still the Nappers. Mm-hmm. Until they prove otherwise, they, I, Look, man, they fell apart hard last they year. They did, they but and they've been doing that ever since the Philip Rivers era. And they just, just fall apart reason, at the end of the year. They just fall apart. What are you the doing? Oh, they, really they were like on. First. They were on fire. They had a chance yeah. to take that division, and then <laughs> see you. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the Chiefs, the class of that division for, for a while now. They're not going to be. Um, they're not going to be up there. I don't think there's not going to be. Another I think one. they will. I don't think so. I think they will. They're going to draft a receiver. They're going to they they're going to they will absorb the loss of Hill. Yeah. Um they may not they may be slightly less than dynamic, but they're yeah. still going to be dynamic. They still got Andy Reid as the coach. Yeah. They still got Andy Reid calling plays and they still got Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. They're going to I think they're going to be better than they were last year. Yeah. Believe it or not, without Hill, just because last year was even though they were great last yeah. year, it was still kind of a down year. I still think they're going to be a huge contender to win that division and the AFC. Yeah. Raiders. So, Raiders, they're kind of like a, like a wild card. You don't them. know what don't trust is going to happen. With yeah, I don't trust them. I don't know. Like, it, they're I, so up and down. I don't know. They and are. They're so up and down. I just, their card has been up and down as well. Yeah. The, uh, but they the, did get some good players. They got... Uh, Devontae Adams, yeah. right? Yeah, it was a huge pickup. Huge. Huge. Huge for him to throw to. Um, so, I... Cars just up and down to me. Like, I just don't know. Um, so, who's... The, the who's true the, wild card in this division, though, to me, is the Broncos. It I is. Have no idea what they You have no idea now. what Russell is going to So, here's the thing. Table that team so, all. here's the thing. Yeah. I really like the Broncos' defense. Yeah. And I really like their offensive pieces. Yeah. I'm just... Maybe it's just the shock of having a new player there... That's never played there, the quarterback. Yeah. But Russell Wilson has had a down year last year, so that that kind of clouds our judgment in realizing that the two years before that, he's a top three quarterback. Yeah, definitely. He's definitely. arguably top three mm-hmm. in the but, league. Yeah, I think the Broncos have a pretty decent offensive line, right? Yeah. This what Seattle didn't really have. Yeah. He, he, he is fucking running so around for his life. I think Seattle. they they won seven games last year. Yeah. With. Just a just piecemeal at quarterback, yeah. you know, trading between Teddy Bridgewater played the most games, but also Drew Locke in there. Jeez. They still won seven games. I'm, I'm thinking with consistency and with a dynamic player mm-hmm. like Russell Wilson, mm-hmm. you can win 11. 
right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe 12? So, that's the wild card team to me, is, is I'm really interested to see what they do. It, to me, they're, they're, they're more of a wild card. The highs can be a lot higher yeah. than, than the Raiders, but they could also be a little bit of a disappointment. Whereas the Raiders, I feel like they're going to be a little mediocre, mediocre I guess, for less, lack of a better word. Yeah. Um, they're going to be more toe the line. Um, the Chargers, I mean, I'll believe it, when I, mean, I see it with the Chargers. It's going to be a crazy division to see who, who, who steps up to the plate in that division for sure. Um, one more last thing for the NFL. You know what sucks for a fan? A fan bought the last thrown football of Tom Brady's touchdown, right? Yeah, I saw for that. 515K. Sucks to be you, man, because... <laughs> you fucking idiot. Six weeks later, he unretired. No, a week later. Oh. Of fuck, maybe well, like I mean, two days later. I mean, six that. six weeks after he retires, after he unretires. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like that that fan that bought that ball, right? A day or two or even a week later, right? He unretires. Like, it ain't the fucking last time he's throwing a touchdown now, huh? Wow. That sucks for him. Hey, maybe he'll get I'll, hurt. I'll buy maybe, it off you for like five bucks. Maybe he'll get hurt in the preseason or something. Maybe. Maybe. He ain't gonna play in the season preseason. Ending injury. Season <laughs> ending injury right there. Um, NBA playoffs are coming up. I don't know if we want to talk about that yet. I mean, it's still kind of hit and miss here and there. We got yeah, a lot still got of a ways to go. Little ways to go. Uh, but it's kind of getting exciting. Kyrie Irving can now play at home finally. So maybe the the the. Uh, Who cares? Nets might take that. I don't know. Who gives a fuck about Kyrie? Yeah, I, I like him. Other than, I like him in Cleveland. Other than himself, you know, no, seriously. He yeah, loves like him, him some him. He, he does. <laughs> he sucks. Yeah. He, 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 he's he's, of he's like a, a super fan of himself. Like uh, uh, Dennis Rodman a little bit. Kind of right? He, I don't he agree. He was all about himself as well. I don't agree. No. no. Because Dennis Rodman would go out there on the court and fucking oh, he, kill. Oh, yeah, it's true. I like, mean, like, I mean, Kyrie kills too, right? He, he's a fucking for half the games playmaking and motherfucker. For dude. half the games, he's he kills. a fucking. You think he he's the best half the ball game. handler? Half the games game? for half the games. Half the games. Where he plays in right now? I mean, yeah, I mean, Rodman would play. Yeah. Rodman would play eighty-two but games. But it man. wasn't wasn't his decision, right? He had to. He it was his decision. Hmm? What well, was that was? Yeah, at the beginning, yes, it was his decision. Right? Yes, yeah, it absolutely it was. was. Play or whatever. Um, but. So Rodman, Rodman was a beast, man. Rodman yeah. would go out there. Rodman was just a freak of a personality. Oh, big time! But he would go out there yeah. and, and fucking and compete at eighty-two and games. Yeah. Eighty-two games, like yeah. he was. Yeah. That dude would play. Mm-hmm. Kyrie, even before this shit, even before his. Flat Earth, fucking yeah, anti-vax his, his, bullshit. His Boston era was very like, what the fuck? Is yeah, this? Did, did, but his Cleveland era was really good. He he balled out in Cleveland. Was um, it? But then was when, it? Yeah. How was it before LeBron got there? Well, I mean, he he was the star of that team. Before and LeBron. were they win twenty two games at eighty two? I mean, I mean, that was like that's any kind of rookie year, sophomore season, right? Any? Uh, kind of, kind any? Of, yeah. Any. Yeah. Any poor team with a rookie on their team? Yeah, you're gonna. Stay. How's John Morant doing? He's got a good team around him now. Um, year, they right? didn't it's have that. They didn't have that bad of a team in Cleveland. Like it improved with for Kevin Love and LeBron, yeah. obviously yeah. for obvious reasons. Yeah. But like John Morant's team in Memphis ain't that great. Like it's it's definitely better, yes, than the Cleveland team. But yeah. but Kyrie doesn't make his team better. He doesn't. He's a one man show. One man show. He's not. The, the Cleveland teams weren't just bad. They were terrible. They oh, were yeah, towards they were the bottom of the garbage. league. They were garbage. all of a sudden LeBron and Kevin Love show up and they're winning sixty well, games. Obviously, like, it's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, he he doesn't carry a team. He doesn't. When has he ever done this? Show I, me the, I, I agree. You know, I show agree. me an example. He's, when he's, he's ever done have, this? He's got to have players around him. I agree with that. He's got to have certain, had, certain stars. Let's look at Boston. Yeah. Boston had Jason Tatum, yeah, yeah. Marcus Smart, and the and other. They still failed. They still. And I, they he had somebody players. else too. I can't remember another big name player. They had uh, oh shit. Jason, uh, they had somebody else, but whatever. Like, it's it's beside the, yeah. the point is that that was one of the most disappointing teams mm-hmm. for two years mm-hmm. in the league. They should have been towards the top. 
and they were towards the bottom. It was a joke. It was a joke, and Kyrie was sitting out games. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, no, come on. Yeah, it, it was, show me, show me. Here's his one show me. His one show me was the, was the game-winning shot against the Warriors in the, in the finals. But he had, he had LeBron and Kevin Love with him. Mm-hmm. Like, he was given that opportunity by the other players there. Yeah. Like, if, if, if they weren't there, he wouldn't have been nowhere near that stage. Yeah. I could easily argue that if LeBron was there without Kyrie, he would still be near that stage. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah. I mean, he took way worse teams to the finals than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. it's not close. But but Kyrie was wanting to pretend like, like he was the man. He like, like he, I got to get out of here because yeah. LeBron, this, like, LeBron's stealing my stealing spotlight. My I'm going to go to Boston. Yeah. And make a dynasty. Prove it, prove me wrong, and then you. Yeah, you Whatever. fucking really. Way right. to go. Yeah, good job there. The NBA playoffs are coming up. We might indulge in that in episode 17. Uh, other than that, Bird. I do have sports entertainment coming up, right? WWE WrestleMania is one week away. One week away, right? The WrestleMania this year is two nights. We got Saturday night and Sunday night, two night WrestleMania. Can you say overkill? And it's gonna be in Dallas, Texas, at the Jerry Stadium. And this, 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 this the match, Jerry or Jerry World, or whatever you call it. <laughs> um, this match is gonna shock you. That it's gonna be, it's, it's still up in the air, but it, rumor has it it's gonna happen. You got Hulk Hogan. Versus Goldberg versus Linda McMahon. It's going to happen. You excited for that one? Why is that going to shock me? It's That's a circus. It's a circus. First of all, Hulk so, Hogan is like 100 years old. Yeah. Linda yeah. McMahon is about 105. And by it. the way, Linda McMahon is about 5 foot 2. Yeah. What you're doing in there with a 6 foot 8, 300 pound monster and a 6 foot 5, 280 pound monster. So it was so funny, like two months ago, this was a rumored match online, Hulk Hogan versus Linda McMahon. I don't know why it was a rumor, but it was, it was so funny as fuck. But we'll go and get into the, the actual card here. I just thought that would make you pop, and it honestly didn't. <laughs> it popped me, because it was funny. Uh, you got Ronda Rousey. She pop. Versus Charlotte Flair from the SmackDown Women's Championship. Should be a good match. Uh, Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, WWE Hall of Famer Edge versus AJ Styles in a dream match. It should be a really good one. I'm excited to see that. Never liked Edge. He's overrated. No, you got some uh, celebrity uh, matches. You got Logan Paul in The Miz versus Rey Mysterio and... His son, Dominic Mysterio, is wrestling. Did you know Dominic Mysterio is wrestling? Did I care is a better question. Um, You also have another uh, celebrity match. Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn in an Anything Goes match. That should be really fun right there. And then you got rumored match, Seth Rollins. Versus possibly, I'm pretty sure this is going to happen, AEW defective Cody Rhodes coming over to back to WWE and having a match with him, which I'm kind of excited to see. I'm excited to see what that one entails. Then you've got the greatest match of all time going to happen at the spectacular WrestleMania. WWE Championship Brock Lesnar. Versus Universal Championship Roman Reigns, the winner takes all. Should be a good main event. I'm right sorry, there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Back up. Did you just call that the greatest match of all time? I mean, that's what WWE is talking about, thankfully. Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. So Lesnar the greatest Reigns. match of all time. Greatest match of all time. Hasn't as if. Hasn't even happened yet. As if he hadn't already lost me. Yeah. Not yet, especially no, lost me. No, it's okay. This one's going to be interesting right here. This is my last, last one right here. Kevin Owens is hosting his own Volcano show, kind of like what 
Roddy Piper had his Piper's Pit, you know those shows? I'm aware of Piper's Pit, yeah. I've, I've kind of seen that Special guest, before. Stone Cold Steve Austin, looking like he's coming out of retirement, possibly having a match with Kevin Owens at WrestleMania 38 in Dallas, Texas. That'd be terrible because be so Stone Cold can't hardly move in the ring anymore. Oh no, he can, he can open up a good old can of whoop pass, right? No, you're not excited for WrestleMania 38. There's plenty of other matches too. You know, it's kind of hearsay. Well, yeah, you said it's two nights. It's two fucking nights, a bunch right? Of you gotta, gotta fill up that stadium, hundred plus, hundred thousand plus in there. No, there's no stadium that holds 100,000. Yeah, they're fucking... No, over two nights, it's going to hold over 100,000. Not in one night. Oh, no, they, they held it, WrestleMania 32, uh, over 101,000 was there. Where? In Dallas, Texas, in Jerry World. 101,000? Yeah, 101,000. Okay. That's pretty... That's, that's that's a lot of people. The stadium doesn't seem like it's that it's big. A, it's a big stadium. They only it's get like 70,000 no, in there for the NFL. No. Well, you got to count that the uh, the floor, the floor, yeah, right? count the floor, floor as well. The floor. But no, that stadium too. That stadium can hold over. I think the record well, is hundred four with the five. With the floor, it makes sense. Yeah. I, for, I forgot about the floor. Yeah. yeah. So because you don't have the floor in football, obviously. Nope. 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 Um, who gives a fuck? <laughs> what you God damn it, wrestling? There was nothing in there that sounded interesting. No. Nothing. I mean, it, it's been a lackluster kind of build for WrestleMania. I'm kind of excited to see what Stone Cold brings to the table, though. He hasn't really kind of been in the spotlight in wrestling for a while. He's done, like, appearances here and there. But this one's pretty big, I think. I think this might lead to a couple of matches. Because he hasn't wrestled since WrestleMania against, 19. Against Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. He's, he's, a good, he's a good wrestler. He's a good talker. He's really good. He's good stuff. You'll get your excited face. You're ready for it. Ready to rock and roll. That's my WrestleMania sports entertainment segment. Right? I'm still drinking this shitty fucking beer all through the goddamn. You deserve it at this point. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> well, I need more sports. I need a beer. We're done with sports. Ready to move on. I think to so. Music. I think so. You want to talk about the Masters? Yeah. Oh. What the fuck did, uh, what's his face say to get kicked off the Masters? He didn't get kicked off the Masters. We'll talk about this off stream, but what the fuck? Tiger Woods might be in the Masters. Too, Maybe well. Tiger Woods ain't going to be in the Masters. I don't know, we'll see. Um, you're talking about Phil. Phil, Phil yeah, He Phil. didn't get kicked off the Masters. Or he is hearsay. Depends on who you talk to. Who do you talk to that knows anything about golf? ESPN. Yeah, and they never said that he got kicked off the Masters. Or like he is not on the Masters. Yes, he chose to step away. I don't think he chose to step away. No, he did. Yeah, he already said he did. I don't think so. He released a statement saying he was going to step away from the game for a while. I believe other people had him on his ear saying you you need to be not on the Masters. No. I, 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 you, I think then there's, then there's you, higher powers involved. Then you weren't in paying attention to ESPN. I think there's higher powers involved. Then you're not paying attention. Why? Tell me why. Because of what he said. Yes. And when did he say it? I don't know, because I wanted to ask you, because I'm fucking confused as fuck. Exactly. Spot. You weren't paying attention. So, he said it He said it a couple months ago now, yeah. and then after the backlash. He's lost so many sponsors. After the backlash, he said he was going to step away from the game for a while. Yeah. So there was pundits talking heads on ESPN that said, oh, but he'll be back for the Masters. They didn't know. They were just saying that, oh, he's got to be, he's Phil at the Masters. He's got to be back. And then when he, when it was announced that he wasn't on the Masters roster, that's when they're like, he's not on the Masters roster. But they were, the only ones that were trying to create a groundswell for him being at the Masters was them. So you can't just like, the talking heads aren't a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like just because they say something doesn't mean it's in existence. Just like you, just like you get like, uh, say he was kicked off the Masters, and now it's fact. 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 That's the internet for you. Welcome to YouTube, where we just say shit, throw give, shit at a dartboard, and then pretend like it's true when it's fact. Exactly. No, that's how I feel. Why not? Because that's that's what's true. What do you feel about that, Kyrie? Yeah. 
Want to join this party? Uh, Start talking about shit that we just assume is fact because you oh, fucking watch some late. YouTube videos and don't understand fucking mathematics or gravity or anything else, you idiot. <laughs> now we're going into the science segment of uh, beer night. God you ready for, for science? God forbid. I know science is scary, but, you know. I'm ready for a new Budweiser because this is pretty warm. Uh, we'll move on to music segment, so hopefully you enjoy this sports segment. If not, screw you. This is what we do. Uh, please subscribe. Hit the, hit the thumbs up and comment. Here we go. Great. So all we need is comments on this fucking comments. fantastic I segment. Comments. We're going to get a bunch of flat earthers. Yes. <laughs> Have you been to Antarctica? 